Councilmember Wilcox? Yeah, not to kick a dead horse in the mouth. Not to kick a dead horse in the mouth, but uh, <clears throat> I too received quite a few uh, phone calls and, and emails regarding the fireworks. Uh, some of them went on to 1, 1 30 in the morning. And you know, you're trying to sleep, <laughs> boom, they go off again, you wake up again, and back and forth. So that's one thing. Uh, the other thing, once again, it was suggested by several people that we have some area, some place where the whole town can come together and have a firework uh, display. Um, where that would be, I don't know. I don't have any recommendation for that right now, but it was recommended by several people I talked to. Uh, and I agree with people uh, on the council here. Once again, the houses are so, so doggone close. And we have a group down there about two blocks away from our house that fire off the, the big cannons. And uh, you never know when one of those things are going to come down and on a roof and, <clears throat> and burn your house down. So it, it is a concern. I don't want to ban fireworks per se. Because when I was a kid, I'd play with everything illegal that you could possibly think of. Uh, cherry bombs and everything else, but uh, that's in the past. Uh, we, we were wide open spaces, completely wide open spaces, and we had maybe almost a uh, half a football field or more between houses. But it is a concern, and I think it's something that needs to be taken up in the future.